In this short video, we'll show you how to set up and use conditional orders to trade futures using the Power eTrade web platform. Conditional orders are powerful tools which allow users to place triggers to create or cancel other orders. To get started, enter a future symbol in the quote box and navigate to trading, then to the charts tab. Now look at the Power eTrade futures ladder. One type of conditional order available in the ladder is called One Cancels Other, or OCO. Another type is known as One Triggers One Cancels Other, or OTOCO. Choose a conditional order type from the drop-down. We'll start with a One Cancels Other order, or OCO. One Cancels Other allows you to enter both a limit and stop order as one order. If either order is filled or partially filled, the other non-executed order will be cancelled. Once you have chosen the OCO order, you can select prices right in the ladder. Preview the order, make any modifications on the order ticket, and then send. You can cancel orders at any time from the ladder or order screen. Now let's create a three-part One Triggers OCO, or OTOCO, order. This can also be done right from the ladder. One Triggers OCO places a primary initiating order at a desired price. If it's executed, it automatically creates an OCO order. Set an initial limit entry point, in this example, a buy order at P1. Next, choose a target profit limit price. This would be a higher price, which we've labeled P2. Then, add a stop loss at a lower price, shown as P3. Click the Edit button if you want to modify the prices. Once you're set, preview the order and send it to the market. You can cancel the OTOCO order by clicking on any of the three price parts on the ladder. If the primary P1 order has already filled, but the OCO orders are still active, those orders can be canceled by clicking on the purple price box on the ladder. That's it. Creating conditional orders is quick and easy from the Power eTrade ladder.